This will be the last time, darling, I promise. Whenever she's around, everything turns into a disaster. It's about time you let her face the world on her own rather than spoiling her like you always do. I'm certain we can keep her past mistakes private in the next town. There's a great school for Alex and a marvelous church for us. Look at it as a fresh start for all of us. How many fresh starts does that little brat of yours need? She's 18. It's time she faced the world on her own. We've suffered the consequences of her actions long enough. <laughs> and of course, she's home late. What a surprise. I would have been home on time if you picked me up like you were supposed to. You're an adult now. You need to start looking after yourself. So I heard. Oh, darling, I'm sorry you had to find a way home. This is the baby I'm talking about. She shouldn't need a father looking after her anymore. She's ruining both of our lives with her immaturity. And yet you're the one throwing the tantrum, you wrench. You're lucky my dad even puts up with your sorry butt. If it were me, you'd be on the streets by now. How dare, I'm not done. I refuse to let you poison this family. <laughs> Did you really have to take it that far, Nia? So that's why I'm moving to a new city, starting all over. We're almost there now. This is going to be great for all of us. I can feel it. Okay, I'll give it a shot. That's my girl. But my new life was not what I'd hoped. You'll be wearing these clothes I got you from Dress Trough. She can't even trust me to dress myself. This Fisher Price vomit nightmare isn't me at all. And my new room's the attic? You're lucky you're not on the street, you sickening brat. If I'd had my way, we would have given this room to the cat. Um, darling, you did an amazing job, but maybe we should let Alex pick out her own stuff this time. This is our fresh start. I don't think that's a good idea. Alex can decide for herself what she wants. Ha, huh, take that, Nia. But the real question is, should I start over with A? I'm glad you see it my way. Let's get back downstairs to the movers. Are you going to stand around all day or are you actually going to be useful for once in your life? It's just her way of showing tough love. Well, she shouldn't just show so much of it. <laughs> Things will get better, I promise. Here, why don't you take a break? Go explore the town. I'll ward off Mia for you. Thanks for trying to make things better. Everything will be okay if I can just keep what happened at my first school a secret. After what happened, maybe being alone is what I deserve. Found the ice cream. I want... Ah, yes, the last ice cream sandwich. Hey, are you going to pay for that? Calm down. Of course I am. Just let me get my wallet. Oh crap, I left my wallet at home. You better find some way of paying for that. Give me a break, this wasn't on purpose. I don't care if it was an accident or not. You need to find a way to pay for it. I can pay for you. Wait, who is that? He's super cute, totally jacked, and totally knows it. I don't need any favors. It's no big deal. It looks like you're in a tight spot, and I don't mind helping you out. Even if your taste in ice cream is questionable. What? Ice cream sandwiches are the best. Sundays are objectively better. Maybe if you're still an infant. Just let me help you out. I'm not a charity case. I never said you were. Look, I could use your help too. How? Yeah. You can come with me to my community service. I have to volunteer at the local animal shelter. And if I bring an extra volunteer, they'll give me double the hours. As we get closer, the smell of his cologne made all my hair stand on end. C community service? What'd you get in trouble for? 
drag racing. So wanna help out each other? You'll get to hang out with cute puppies and kittens. No, I should head home. Oh, okay. You don't really like getting close to people, do you? I don't know what you're talking about. You have to let somebody in eventually. And don't worry about the ice cream sandwich. It's on me. Think of it as a welcome to the neighborhood gift. Whoa, what he said hit a little too close to home. I really hope we don't run into each other again. The worst thing about moving all the time is the loneliness. It's like somehow I don't belong anywhere I go. There's my princess. So, how are you settling in? You'll learn to love it here, I promise. Sleep well, sweetie. If only my mom was still around, things would be different. Ever since my mom died, it's like my dad let her memory die too. He never talks about her. He even got rid of all of her pictures. And dad still hasn't told me what happened around her death. All I know is that she was gone, but I don't know how or why. There was no answers around her death, so I had to find my own. Oh my gosh, the hospital has emailed me back. We regret to inform you that we have no record of death for June Halliday. How can they have no record of her death? She can't have just disappeared. I need to change and go to bed. Malik? Alex? Oh my gosh, he's my neighbor. Meet me outside. 